So I actually applied to UC Berkeley for PhD and got rejected. And uh, so when I land this job offer, even though it's a lecture job, it's not a tenure track professor job, I had very bad uh, imposter syndrome. Because imagine I was not good enough to be a student here. How could I be good enough to be a teacher here? I grew up in a big house with grandparents, my parents, and then we were uh, relatively better off, so they're a housekeeper. We were next door to the uh, Shanghai Theater Academy, where my paternal grandfather taught. I pretty much spent my childhood backstage. All the re rehearsals, and then, you know, script readings, and then all the workshop, like the stage department's workshop. So my dream job when I was young um, was to be a theater director. I applied, got admitted into the theater academy. My parents, especially my father, is um, utterly object to it because all oh, those uh, socialist plan economy and they really emphasize actually STEM uh, fields. It's a very, very strict and um, opposition and firm opposition from my parents for me to pursue my life dream. And they said, um, we are going to call up the president of the college who was a former student of your grandfather and ask him to rescind your offer letter. And they did. So I attempted to run away from home and I was like, you know, if some friends, maybe the maternal grandparents, they can like let me stay and I attended school, but I never had any job, part-time job even. So of course I went back, study hard and I got into a top university in Shanghai. They uh, pretty much grant me master's uh, programs admission upon graduation, but I don't want to do it. I, now I'm a sociologist, you know, I'm like teaching Marx. I'm not going to help you sell stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing against the people who want to do marketing and want to work in business. It's just personal preference. Aside from all the art scene, I also grew up with under lots of German influence. So the idea was regardless of my undergrad degree, I would go for grad school in Germany. I applied and got admitted into art school in Berlin. That was early 2000s. Uh, never traveled abroad. Germany, that was not a friendly environment. Uh, from my own experience, I don't want to generalize it because now Berlin is one of my favorite cities. But back then, um, that was cultural shock plus racism. And I dropped out of school. Uh, I dropped out of that master program. So I went back to Shanghai uh, while all my, you know, college friends already get jobs and start their life. I was half year behind. <laughs> and uh, um, so I, so I learned a job, which I, I rather like. It's at the Shanghai Concert Hall and Shanghai Grand Theater. So I would deal with contracts, uh, press uh, release, definitely work overtime on holidays because that's when the performance are usually off. That was not the kind of the life I would want, even though it is in the performing art field. I, yeah, that, this is my dream job, I would say, the Berkeley one. When I applied to PhD program in 2009, that was right after the, the last economic recession. <laughs> and uh, uh, there are lots of hiring freeze, funding cuts, salary uh, reduction, voluntary, and then in the UC system too. So I actually applied to UC Berkeley for PhD and got rejected. And uh, so when I land this job offer, even though it's a lecture job, it's not a tenure track professor job, I had very bad uh, imposter syndrome. Because imagine I was not good enough to be a student here. How could I be good enough to be a teacher here? <laughs> and, uh, um, but later on, you know, I felt like, well, yeah, I, I did have my degree and I know my stuff and I have students are interested in my class and, and I'm happy with evaluations of all and I build relations with students. Um, and, also, I really like the campus community, faculty, students, staff, um, 
not to mention I live in San Francisco. So the weather is super nice. And in my neighborhood, to my surprise, there's still a neighborhood small movie theater. In the lobby, it has a big 1920s film noir uh, poster. Uh, that movie is um, Lady from Shanghai. So it felt like living meant to be. There's a motto I keep telling myself and then for um, younger people seeking my advice is no regret. There are obstacles, ups and downs in life and then all the decisions you made at that point was the best decision you thought you would be able to make. So there's no point looking back, telling, saying that, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. Like, just trust yourself or with all the information uh, and the circumstances you were aware at that time, that was the best decision you could make. Because, you know, I could have stick around in Berlin and suffer and get a degree, but I didn't want to do that. Or I could have run away from home but I don't know how that uh, art school gonna accept me when I was 18. And, uh, or I could have picked the easy path to stay because I got admitted into uh, the PhD program in, uh, at UBC in Vancouver and also in New York. And uh, if I stayed a uh, permanent residency, already a friend circle, and maybe meet someone, start a family, it's, it's a comfortable path. Um, but I was like, I still want to explore. Each pass, each option you pick that moment would have good or bad follows. Yeah.